Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you, hopefully very quickly, how to put a background, a transparent background, on your weekly or monthly spreads so that you give your spreads sort of a theme from week to week or month to month, day to day. This question is asked probably more than anything on my YouTube channel and through emails that I get and on some of the Facebook groups. So I thought I would show you how to do it. It's actually very easy and it's just a few clicks and you're up and running with very little effort. So I start out in Keynote. Keynote has a lot of features that I like to use to bounce back and forth when I just have my iPad in my hand and I'm decorating with stickers or I need to grab something really quick. And of course a lot of you know that I am also the developer of iDesign and I've created a myriad of shapes that you can use in iDesign that transfer over to your planner and you can fill them with any patterns and any shapes and photos. You can also do scrapbooking over in Keynote and one of the things that is just so cool about Keynote is it was developed for presentations, uh, boardroom presentations, and it was never meant for the purpose that I use it for. However, those of you that know me, I am always thinking outside the box and way beyond and I use Keynote for things that it was never ever meant to be and in just this very short video you're going to see just one small thing that I do with it. Okay, now like I mentioned a minute ago, I use iDesign. You don't need iDesign for this little tip, this trick that I'm going to show you. However, because I have it and I use it and that's what I'm used to, that's what I'm going to open up. Keynote does come with some, just a small amount of different shapes that you can use for some basic tasks. And so you could do this very easily without having iDesign. Just so that you know you don't need iDesign to do this. But like I said, since I'm used to navigating the shapes through iDesign, I'm going to go grab one of them. And I keep in my Keynote a workspace, kind of a desktop, I guess you could call it, spot where I just kind of do everything. I test things and color things and create things and then I file them from there but this is my workspace this is my go-to presentation so that I don't have to start a new one every single time I want to do something so I can just open this up real quick and add a blank page and I'm going to go ahead and paste that shape that I just copied from my iDesign I'm going to make it nice and big the size isn't important here. I want to make it as big as I can because that helps what the graphics look like and how they transfer over to GoodNotes. So if I can make this as big as I can, it'll look nice and crisp over in GoodNote. So I'm just going to make it as big as my design space. And I can always crop over in GoodNotes, so like I said, size isn't that important here. All right, so what I want to do to this shape is I want to fill it with something. You can fill it with patterns, photos, fabrics, um, scrapbook paper, just whatever, simply by tapping the paintbrush. And then you're going to tap Image here in the center. And then you're going to tap Replace. And I'm going to use my camera roll, but you can also use your Google Drive your Dropbox, and I believe, I'm not sure, don't quote me, OneDrive. So wherever you store your graphics or your patterns, you can navigate to here. Mine happen to be in my camera roll or my photos on my iPad. Because I do this a lot, I try to keep as much as I can 
on my iPad. So I'm going to open up my Whimsy collection, and here you see a bunch of solids, but I love these diagonal stripes. They're, they're nice and clean, but give my pages just enough seam and color. I'm going to select the yellow, and here you can see this is very bright, and if I were to transfer this over to my good notes now the way it is it would cover up my planner you wouldn't see any of the days or the text or anything on my planner page so what I want to do is I want to make this very transparent so I'm going to tap it again so that it's selected I'm going to tap the paintbrush and this time I want to select style and here at the bottom, you see this opacity selector? I'm going to slide this all the way down to, I'm going to go as far as 15. And then I'm going to copy. And I'm going to go to Categories, Eye Planner, 2017. And I think I'll go ahead and open my Vertical Planner. And here I am on January. January is looking kind of empty and lonely. So I'm going to tap. And I'm going to go ahead and paste. Now look at how transparent that is. You can see right through it. However, it's very small. I can use this if I wanted to resize it this way. I can use it to fill a cell if I wanted to, one of the days of the month. But I want it to be a complete background. Now one of the things about Good Notes is when you resize something, it starts from the center out. So if I center this on my planner, that's going to help save a step for me. Now I've got it the right size for the length but the width is off. So what I'm going to need to do is stretch it a little bit more to get it the right width and then I'm going to have to crop off the top which is really easy. So I can kind of judge just about where I need to crop by the edge of my stripes. And this may be trial and error. I might have to do it one or two times. I'm almost there. Like I said, could be two times. Maybe three. Nope, two times is good. And so there you have it. I have a theme set up for January and now I can start writing on my days and decorating and adding stickers. One of the things that you may want to do in order to lock this down so it doesn't get in your way while you're adding stickers and ink and trying to select other things is if you tap on the lasso and turn off images that will be locked in place and then you won't have to worry about it moving around or interfering with the work that you do. But remember that you turned it off because later on down the road when you're in a different notebook or on a different page you may forget and wonder why can't I select this image. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.